Hello, dear students. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm Dr. Indraini Katti. In this video, let us learn about the problems on marginal costing, lengthy problems, which may be asked for 15 marks. Okay. So here, you know, um, uh, I have taken a problem from question paper, that is, which is already asked in uh, Karnatic University question paper. It is. Okay. So let me deal with this. So it's a compulsory question, which was asked for case study, Karnataka University 2020 question paper it is, okay? So from the following particulars, calculate one BEP, second one is PV ratio, third one is profit on budgeted sales, and the following are the informations given to you. Three questions are asked to you. One is BEP, PV ratio, and profit on budgeted sales. Let's look at what are the budgeted sales, okay? The particulars, first particular is about the budgeted sales only. Budgeted sales during 2019-20 amounting to rupees 1,60,000, okay? So on this, we have to calculate the profit. And it is at 80% capacity of the plant. So if the company works at the 80% capacity, then it is going to sell rupees 1,60,000 worth goods, okay? Selling price per unit is 100 rupees. And direct cost 35%. It is represented in percentage, you know, 35% of the sales. And direct labor cost is 25% of sales. Variable factory overhead is 10% of sales. And variable administrative overhead is 5% of the sales. And finally, they have given the fixed cost value. Fixed cost amount to rupees 20,000. Calculate the amount of profit if the firm operates at 100% capacity. Okay, this is the last one. Fourth calculation we have to do, right? So let's move on to the solution, how to do this. So given information, sales are given, budgeted sales, that is at the 80% capacity and the selling price is given to us. So first important thing here is we need to calculate the PV ratio. To calculate BEP, we are dependent on the calculation of PV ratio. So let me uh, divide this page, okay, here into two parts. One part, let us keep it for the working note, okay? I will do here the this side, that is right-hand side is meant for the working notes and left-hand side will be problems. So here, working notes, right? So underline this. First, we are going to look at the contribution amount, which are all given, okay? Selling prices given to us in the problem, rupees 100, okay? In this, we have to direct variable cost. So variable cost is of different prices, you know? What are the variable costs? First one is in the problem only when we look at the problem, we'll get to know what are all the details given about the variable cost. Direct material cost, here it is direct material cost is 35% and it is direct labor cost is 25% of sell, selling price and 10% that is variable factory overhead and variable administrative overhead is 5%. All this we need to convert it into cash, okay? Then we will write here, okay? What are those? So 35% of rupees 100, again, we are going to get the 35 rupees, okay? So let us write here into bracket, what all are there? 35 rupees plus 25 rupees plus the next is 10%. It is 10% 10 of 100 is again 10 and 5 total amounts to rupees, how much it is going to be? 75. So selling price, let me write here, it is 100. In this selling price, let us deduct the variable cost, which amounts to rupees 75 in total. So here, after deducting 75 from 100, we derive 25 rupees. So this amount is called as contribution per unit, okay? So here it is contribution per unit. PU per unit is rupees 25. So here only we can calculate the PV ratio. Okay. So let's come to the calculation part. This side, we, I'll move on to the left hand side. First one. BEP calculation. 
break even point sales. You have been asked to calculate first break even point sales. Okay. BP formula is break even point sales is equal to fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Okay. Fixed cost divided by PV ratio. So we will derive here PV ratio is nothing but how to derive PV ratio is the relationship between the contribution and the sales. So that's why PV ratio will be how much? 25% only. CS ratio. C is 25. S is 100 rupees into 100. We again get the PV ratio as 25%. Okay, working note number two. Two PV ratio it is. PV ratio is equal to C divided by S into 100. That itself is equal to 25 divided by 100 into 100. 100 get cancelled. So ultimately we derive it as 25%. Okay. That's why I come to the left hand side again. BP we are calculating, right? So to calculate the BP, we have written the formula as fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Given in the problem, fixed cost is rupees. How much it is given in the problem? Fixed cost. Let us look at the problem. See now, last information. It is sixth information. Fixed cost is equal to how much it is? Rupees 20,000. Same 20,000 we will have to take here. 20,000 rupees. Okay, divided by PV ratio. PV ratio is 0.25. That is 25 percentage is, is converted into decimal. Okay. The amount we get here, BP sales is equal to rupees 80,000. Okay. Is equal to rupees. So this is BP is equal to 80,000. Let me highlight the answer with the box okay hmm. yeah now second point number two pv ratio in the problem they have to ask in fact pv ratio first but here they have asked pv ratio second point okay pv ratio is equal to the formula here is contribution divided by selling price into 100. Contribution is rupees 25. It is already done in the working note also. Selling price is 100. Again into 100. This amounts to rupees. Sorry, this amounts to 25 percentage. PV ratio is equal to 25 percentage. Second one is also done. What is the third question in the problem? C, on the top, C point is profit on budgeted sales. So the budgeted sales amounted to rupees 1,60,000 given in the problem as 1,60,000. So what is the profit on this rupees 1,60,000? The question arises here, okay. So third one, let me move on to the third one. Number three. Profit, the amount of profit on budgeted sales. Sales of rupees 1,60,000. Okay, on this we have to calculate. Now, Formula for this, as everybody knows, okay, what is it? On this side, right hand side, working note, I will show you the statement. What is this? Sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit, okay? This is the marginal costing statement format. Here, now we have to derive the profit amount, okay? That's why. The formula to calculate profit, 
profit is equal to contribution amount minus fixed cost. Fixed cost remains same always. Okay. What is the contribution amount? How to calculate this contribution? Now, let me go to this. Contribution is equal to sales into PV ratio. Here the ratio, uh, amount of sales, budgeted sales we have to take. What is the value of budgeted sales? One lakh 60,000. The PV ratio is just we have derived in the earlier slide that is 25 percentage, okay? So PV ratio given in the, uh, sorry, ascertained in the earlier slide as 25 percentage. So 25 percentage of this amounts to rupees 40,000. What is the contribution amount? It is 40,000, okay? So now contribution is equal to 40,000. The same amount of contribution we are taking for the calculation of profit. So is equal to profit is equal to contribution is 40,000. Fixed cost given in the problem is 20,000. So the profit we derived is rupees 20,000. Okay. So finally, profit when budgeted sales are rupees, how much? 1,60,000. So on 160,000, the amount of profit will be 20,000. So this is about the third calculation, okay? Now fourth one, what is asked to calculate is the last line in the problem. They have asked you to calculate in the problem that the amount of profit if the firm operates at 100% capacity, okay? Now we need to convert the sales into 100% capacity, okay? So the write the heading here, that is profit on sales at 100% capacity, okay? So now, what we have to derive here first in the working note part, let me explain it in the working note part. Okay. What we are calculating here is sales at 100% capacity. Okay. So, how to calculate here for 80%. For 80%, what is the sales amount? 1,60,000. How much for 100%? Okay, now cross multiply this. How? 1,60,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 80. The sales at 100%, we derive it as rupees 2 lakh. Okay, the amount will be 2 lakh rupees, right? So same amount we are taking here. Sales amount is 2 lakh, okay? Now, again, profit is equal to, in the earlier case, what we have written, contribution minus fixed cost. What is the amount of contribution here? Here also contribution is equal to sales, into PV ratio, then complete the bracket minus fixed cost. Same formula, that is contribution. How to calculate contribution? Sales into PV ratio, if we do, we will get the value of contribution. In that, we have to deduct fixed cost, okay? So sales derived here are rupees 2 lakh into 25% complete the bracket, okay? Then deduct fixed cost. Fixed cost is rupees 20,000. Always it is 20 only, right? So 2 lakh, 25 percentage of 2 lakh is 50,000 rupees. 
minus 20,000. The profit amount is rupees 30. See, profit on sales at 100% capacity is rupees 30,000. Clear? I hope everybody understood. Okay. Now, if you have any doubt and all, feel free to ask it in the comment box. Okay. And uh, do comment on the slide on this problem because it is very easy, which carries 15 marks. So first you need to be very good in the marginal costing statement. Okay. Marginal cost statement you'll have to. In this problem, it's very simple. BEP calculation is always we require fixed cost. Fixed cost divided by PV ratio is equal to BEP we derive. What is PV ratio? Contribution to sales ratio. It is contribution divided by sales into 100. Or else contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100. We will represent it in terms of percentage. Okay. I hope everybody understood this. Feel free to ask the questions in the comment box, okay? Thank you.